All right, so I'm totally embarrassed by the mess here today in this room. I had no idea you would be stopping by. I'm only kidding. I'm on the campus of UGA Griffin and hanging out in a training facility, and I'm spending some time with a professional, an entomologist, Dan Suter. Dr. Suter, good to see you hey, as Ranger always. Nick. Hey. Good, to, good to see you, Ranger Nick. You might remember Dr. Suter from a segment we did a couple months ago on termites, <laughs> and we got to, back together again to talk about bed bugs. That's right. Listen. We've all heard the saying, sleep yeah. tight, don't let the bed, bed bugs, bugs bite. Tonight, yeah. I think about it, you study bed bugs. We do. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what, like, what are you studying? <laughs> so we have, Nick, we have a, uh, a training program here at the University of Georgia Griffin campus where we bring in pest control operators several times a year to learn about bed bugs and how to control them. So okay. what you're looking at here is actually a, a mock bedroom that we do uh, inspections for. We do mock inspections for pest control operators and they get continuing education hours because a lot of what they deal with are bed bugs. Okay. So they deal with ants and roaches and termites and things like that but a lot of them deal with bed bugs as well. Now let's just say and I'm so glad you said this is not my bedroom. I totally would be embarrassed but <laughs> this is a let's say this is a hotel room. Correct, I mean yeah. I've just look at my luggage here. I've just gotten back from a very long trip. Got off the airplane. I'm in my hotel room you all are studying bed bugs. I always hear on the news about the potential for bed bugs in a hotel room. Yeah. What do I do before I sit down on the bed and go to sleep? How do I know sure. there might be a problem? Yeah, a, a good practice to get into is when you, when, you open the when you open the door to your room, put your luggage in the bathroom. The ba usually the bathroom's right on the right. Okay. So uh, some right. type of hard surface. Okay. Right. Put Let's your luggage that. either right inside the bathroom uh, and then walk over to the bed. Everybody has a light mm -hmm. usually on their camera or, mm -hmm. or I carry a flashlight in my pocket. Yeah, got mine. And what you, you, you go straight over to the bed before you settle in mm -hmm. and you look for signs of bed bugs. Sometimes you won't find the bed bug, a live bed bug, but you will find signs of the bug. So what am I looking for? I got my light on, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this back. So, so that this will be a made bed. You, you just pull okay. the, pull the sheets up. Okay. Uh, and Okay. You'll have a, a mattress here, and mm -hmm. right along this area right here is a favorite place for bed bugs. Hmm. And they have, when they poop, they have little black spots, and that's partially digested blood. And that's what wow. you're looking for. Small little black dots right along that seam right there. Mm. And that is clear sign of bed bug evidence. So, I might be on the phone with the front desk about this. Mm -hmm. I might be deciding to get another room. Looking for those kind of things. What about this cover? I've stayed in places before that have a cover that's thicker than this. Yeah. Uh, what can that's you right. tell me about that? So this is what we call a bed bug encasement cover. It's a mattress cover. Okay. And it's like a big sock that goes on the mattress. Mm. And you only put something like this on a mattress if there has been signs of bed bugs on the mattress. <laughs> oh boy. So okay. you're encasing the bed bugs inside the mattress. They can't get out. Once, once you put this mattress cover on there, they can't get out. So if you go into a hotel room and you find a mattress cover like this on your mattress, there's been signs of that. Somebody has found bed bugs in that room at some point in the past. Well, you heard it from Dr. Sitter. If you go into a room and you find this on a bed, you know they've had a problem before. That's Correct. an indicator to maybe pick up your luggage and head on out there if you don't want to. Maybe any... find another room. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. What about this? I always thought this was a thing for the floor to protect yeah. it. What is this? This is actually a bed bug Sorry, trap. shoes there. This is actually a bed bug trap. Wow. So many pest control operators will put uh, uh, this trap underneath the legs of the bed or mm. the couch or chairs or anything of that sort. What it does is it, it catches bed bugs in this center well right here if they're coming off the bed. Mm. They're coming from the room and coming over here and they crawl up here, they'll get caught out here. So there's two different, two different areas they can get caught. Incredible. And so a pest control company would come back and inspect those routinely and check those for bed bugs. So those will be underneath a bed if, if bed bugs have been found in that bedroom at some point mm. in the past. So we've got this as an indicator, the cover as an indicator. If we're seeing the evidence, it looks like pepper as an indicator. Dan, right. these are such important things to keep in mind. What I want to talk about next is, all right, if I made it through the night in my hotel That's room right, without yeah. getting bit and all that kind of stuff, and I get back home, what do I do back in my home if something did jump onto my luggage? Yeah to keep them from getting in my home. And yep. let's talk about that next. Now, this all to say, we don't wanna create any undue anxiety in our folks at home thinking about, oh my gosh, were there bed bugs there? Do I have bites? What if I don't respond? 
This is just kind of an FYI, which I think is so interesting. Yeah. Now let's say I've arrived home. Mm -hmm. Here we are, I get home. I did learn from you, Doc, that I put my luggage on a hard surface, just like in the hotel room at the bathroom. Right. I put it on a hard surface before I get into the house. Now when I get there, I have heard, you told me I take my clothes out of my bag. I just so happen to have a black trash bag behind me. Sure. Magic of TV, right? I'm gonna put my clothes in this bag, and you say do what with them? Take it straight to the dryer. Okay. So put your, first thing you do, when you walk in, uh, take your, your clothes, your used clothes out of your, of, out of your luggage, put it straight in that bag, and take it straight to the dryer. Put it on as hot as it will go for 30 minutes to an hour, and that will kill all the bed bugs that might be in your clothes. Okay. And I might put this back out in the garage or back outside for Correct. the luggage. Excellent. Now, when I'm back in my home and I'm thinking about there may be some around my mm -hmm. bed, I mm -hmm. want to think back about some of the things you and I were talking about before we started today, about your research. Yeah. And some of the things you're learning about their behavior yeah. in a bed, in a bedroom, in a home, in a hotel room. Sure. What have you all learned about these things, these little insects? Yeah. So a couple of really important points here is that bed bugs feed on blood. We mm -hmm. know that. That's why they bite us, right? Say so their, their only food is blood. And so when they're living on a bed and you are their source of blood, they come out at nighttime. They're actually attracted to your breath. Mm. So when we're laying down and we're breathing out CO2, the bed bugs that are around in this room are attracted to that. Mm. And they will move from wherever they are. They're most active after midnight, between 1 and 5 a.m. when you're in your deepest sleep wow. is when they're going to come and bite you. There is so much great information to learn about this. And if you want to learn more, if you happen to think you have a bed bug in your bed or in your home, taking that little guy, putting it in a bag, taking a picture of it, giving it to your county extension agent. Yeah. Doc, thanks so much for today. Gotcha. I, I, all of a sudden, I'm itching more and more, so I need to get out of here. Y'all, you know what to do. When you're online planning that vacation and thinking about where the bed bugs might be, check out the Farm Monitor Facebook page. See what the guys have got going on there. Check out the Ranger Nick Facebook page. See what we got going on. And until next time, as we always say, I'm Ranger Nick for the Farm Monitor, reminding you that enthusiasm is contagious. So pass it on. Thanks so much for joining us this month, and we'll see you right back here again next month. See ya.